first of all, just to get it out of the way, I have these two boards right here. They're two by two by eights. And uh, I have two coyotes in my freezer that have been there, I would say, two winters now. And I need to get them out of my freezer um, for many reasons. I just want to get them done. Uh, but the wife doesn't like, uh, like me having animal hides in our freezer. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I got these boards because I want to build a frame. So that's what those are for. I got myself a couple 2x2x8s. Two by two by and uh, you saw those in a, in a previous video. <clears throat> and I went ahead and cut those in half. So that gave me four pieces like this here and what I did was I went two inches in and then I cut or cut I'm going to cut I drew a line two inches in and then the distance of this which is technically not a full two inches but it's pretty close and uh, then I went halfway on the other side here on both sides so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna etch this out and I have one on either side I'm gonna etch these out and then what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna piece these together and I'm gonna make a frame so that I can stretch those uh, coyote hides that I have <clears throat> so I just wanted to go ahead and do this part real quick and show you so what I'm gonna do is uh, etch those out and then uh, I'll get right back with you when I get that done
me doing this crazy stuff. I'll be in there in a minute. Alright, so we got these cut, and each one of them will fit together like so. And down the middle, and let me zoom in here real quick. In the middle is a line that separates the board in half, and then every two inches I have a mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole completely through these so that I'll have something to attach my cordage to. As well, up here at the joint I'm gonna drill a hole so that I can stick the cordage in and tie it off I was going to use bolts but I figure I'll just stick to the just plain cordage alrighty from here I'm just gonna drill this hole completely through both of them and I'm gonna do that on all four sides Alright, so now I've got all of those drilled, and now all I have to do is go through each one of these two inch marks, drill a hole completely through those, and I will do that. When I get it done, I'll get right back with you. I'm out here at uh, Camp Kilo Sierra. I've got my tent set up and uh, I've got some fishing line and I've got my sewing kit with me. Now, these are gonna be minor items for now. Really what I wanna show you is this. So I finally got it finished up and uh, I wanna show you how it gets together and uh, what it really is. This is a stretcher for hides and it's going to be portable because I'm going to make sure I'll be able to take it apart and uh, I got some cordage here and uh, let's get this apart there we go and uh, you've seen these in my video on how I made it so let's put it together real quick and uh, I'll go through that so what I did was I labeled each of them one, two, three, and four. Got one A, one two, uh, one A, and and one B, and so forth. Alrighty, so I'm going to piece these together, and as I said, one A and one B fit together, like so. And then there's a hole right here, and I will use this cordage to tie it together, and I will frame this all up, and I will get right back with you. Alrighty, so very simple, like. Right now, I'm just using small pieces of cordage. When I do this, uh, when I'm actually gonna do it for real, then I will secure it a lot better. But for now, 
I just want to show you how this is going to work. So I take one A and one B, place those together. Right now I'm just going to knot it like that so it can easily come off. I'm going to do that with all of them and then I'll get right back with you. Alrighty, so I've got the frame done. As you can see. There we go, we'll set it down here. So what I'm going to do uh, when I decide to actually use it, and I'll show you guys uh, me actually using it here soon, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fishing line and each one of these holes, which are started out as an inch away from the other of the frame, and then every two inches I have a hole, I'm going to run my fishing line through it, and that will give me something to hold the, uh, the hides on so I can stretch the heights. So this is my portable hide stretcher and it looks like it's going to be big enough for any raccoon, any possum or smaller item. I don't think it's going to be big enough for my coyotes even if I turn it this way. It may not be, uh, may not be tall enough or big enough for my coyotes. But if it's not, then I will go back and uh, purchase four 2 by 2 by 8s and I'll just make, and I won't cut them, and I'll just uh, make a larger frame out of uh, the 2 by 2 by 8s instead of cutting them down to 4 feet instead of 8 feet. So this is the uh, hide stretcher. The beauty of this uh, hide stretcher is that when I'm done with it, I can just cut the cordage off of the sides and it comes apart if I want to and it's portable. Uh, when I use it for real I will be tying, tying these corners off really good and there won't be any movement with them uh, but for now I just wanted to uh, set it up and show it to you guys so I, I hope to be using this real soon on uh, possibly a raccoon or a possum. I am going to go spend a night or two out at Camp Osage real soon I hope and uh, the last time I was out there, I saw a lot of raccoon tracks. So I do plan on uh, getting myself a raccoon. And I will go through the whole process of uh, cleaning it, of stretching the hide, and actually working it. As well as, I think I'll cook up the raccoon, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try a little bit of uh, raccoon out on the, out on the uh, campfire. So again, thank you for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, and enjoy the outdoors even if it's just your own backyard.